Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. Let's go. All right, see who goes first. Stewie's gonna go first. We're gonna use his audio to start with. Stewie already bumping on the overworld map. Nice, Ooh. practicing for world seven. <laughs> nice, he's, and he's not doing the rub. Here, I can minimize he's this, not. right? Yeah, you're good. No, he's not, it's all right. Just, just being risky, I guess, and Bagler. Bottom strat. I've seen a here. couple people do the bottom strat. I think it's Jay Haley was the other one. I don't know. This is like some meme I'm not aware of. I think. What it's like an as an intentional like I want to do bottom. Did he did he not try and go to the cloud? Yeah. Like did he miss the turtle or did he decide? Oh no, he... yeah, no, that was totally intentional. Yeah. Oh okay. Both times oh, wow. it's happened that I've seen it, it was definitely intentional. Because they. Bagler getting some buffering. Time. He's gonna he's gonna lose some time against Stewie here. That's definitely not how it works. But you know. <laughs> We're going straight off the visuals, not the timers, guys. <laughs> it's going to put some time there from some buffering. It's going to affect him later in the run. What? Why are the clocks synced? Oh, Stewie taking damage. Ooh. What's it? He's not going to go back for the leaf? Oh, no. And this is the inside the head strategy we were talking far. about. You think it was yeah. too far? I don't think it was. I mean, he could have gone back. I, I think it's about the same for him at this point, though, to be honest. Might have been a little faster to go back, but pretty close. If he'd have got the clip, it definitely would have been faster to continue, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, so let's see here. First point in World 1 is can they get the MFP tunnel? Bagler is going to be the first. He's in the lead now, so let's start to use his audio. Oh, and if you miss the jump, there's... Yeah, you cannot get a duck jump off the hill, so you have to do it on the top of the little mountain there. See, so if Stewie gets the tunnel here, that mistake really doesn't matter that much, right? Right, that's right. So, oh, he did duck, but he didn't uh, jump. That was weird. Yeah, unfortunate. Very... So I think he was, because you you try to do a really small jump, I think it just didn't jump for that's him right. when you tried to do that. Yeah, it ends up being kind of like a combo. You press down really lightly, and you press jump really lightly, and, you know, you can let go of down. Yeah. Even for a frame. It kind of looked like he mashed it a bit, right? Like, that's how light you really want to do yep. stuff. Good. All right. So now the next thing for them in this world is to get the mushroom house. Um, Bagler going to do a couple extra map movements here, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to do two extra map movements. Yep. Yes. Yep. Two extra map movements there. Stewie's going to go back and do world one spade card game right on. He wants to get that out of the way. He's so excited. To show us, he's got. Look at him. He doesn't look. Has he even used the cheat sheet? He just knows. Look at him go. He hasn't <laughs> even stopped. I can't believe he's clearing the entire thing. He, he just cleared. They just, it. All right. He didn't all even right. miss a beat. Like, did he breathe there? Like, what happened? That was awesome. All right, all right. So he gets it. Did Bagler get the leaf though? I don't know if Bagler got the leave. I was just so blown away by that. I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. And Stewie doesn't Stewie get the leave. Get... Nope, but he gets the other points, so that's good. Just got that out of the way. Yeah, he got the shroom, okay. That's, <laughs> that's spade card game. Um, oh, he didn't get the, the throne jump. I don't think Bagler got throne jump either. Damn Stewie and his card, he distracted us too much. <laughs> that was incredible. Stewie opening up with a, a quick lead, although Bagos gonna have plenty of opportunity to even that one up. Not a particularly difficult point, as long mm -hmm. as you've done your research. He also didn't get his opportunity, I believe, to do in World 1, right? So he gets to do in the next world. Because Stewie gets the extra points since he uh, beat the fortress. So that's why his spawn. So, yeah, and Bagler did get the throne happen. jump. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ooh, what in the world? That wand shot. All right, we've got 2 1 here. Let's go. Let's go with the 2 1. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. That fire snake is really annoying sometimes. Like if you're if you're a little too far to the right and he does the big jump, like it's so hard to avoid it sometimes. Yep. So yeah, hard to you avoid. You really it have to land far to the left there. Or try to anyway. 
give yourself extra space. All right. Okay, so this is where the time should even up. I don't know if Bagler's going to go for the full card like Stu did. And I feel like Bagler also is really good at this. What the yeah, heck? Going for it too. Oh, he wants the full clear. Okay. Yeah, I think hey, he's fine with that. Mess a few things up there. Um, I'm I'm surprised they're going for four clear, full clears. I wonder why. Yeah, I, I don't know. The maybe one extra star and an extra fire flower would be good. Two fire flowers makes yeah. you feel comfortable, but I don't think you need any of the mushrooms. You don't need the one ups. You don't need the twenty bucks, right? And to be yeah. honest, you don't even need both the stars. One star could could help well, a bit. I could see it if you know you weren't these two guys for them i don't yeah that extra inventory i don't think is going to be particularly useful but we'll see it also Maybe costs time some... too right getting all yeah flubbed up inside your inventory and we've we've already done some studies and we know just going into your inventory alone and almost being as fast as you possibly can is about one second so the longer you stay in there it's just oh it's, it's a nightmare well and the worst part about inventory too is depending on what you equip it's longer, right? So mm -hmm. you have a transformation time for equipping a power up that you know changes Mario's state as well. That's um, right. So it's a little extra time. Yeah, stars are like instant, right? Because you just cook the star. But yep. the, the power ups do like a poof, right? They do like a. Yep. Okay, Bagler is gonna get forward movement. Not gonna forward be able to get that row. one. And neither runner landed in the moat, and they're coming up to the red rocket. Stewie is actually starting to catch up a little bit here. He's going to have his first shot at the yep. music box and backwards and backwards. Oh, All right. No. So he's got a 50 50. He's got to win. You know, can he get a heads? Yep. Yep. All right. Here Bagler. we go. Bagler looking good. Looking here, good. I think. Yeah. And he's going to do the quick, the quick way. Very wow. nice. Very Golden nice. Shell. It's so laggy right there. Like this, it, yeah, it's crazy. It's right? like 10 FPS right there. God, that shell just moves, man. That I know. That zooms. Crazy. Right on. Both runners getting the red rocket. That's good. They are tied right now, six six. And this is exactly how we want races. Neither runner has lost uh, fire flower. Yep. One runner's got the the pocket right. Does Stewie get the backwards? Are Stewie. Getting... Oh. oh. Dang. That was a big opportunity for him. He, yeah, he, he would have had the he yeah was paying attention, you know. He was, he was. He, he could have had the two point advantage as well, right? The because I think Stewie yeah. has the leap. What what's going on here? No, Stewie got the flower. What? Oh, he's doing post two three early hammer. Yeah, he he got early hammer. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. And he's going for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that loses him a point, right? He's got to get the hammer in world three. Uh, so that loses yeah. him a point. That's true. However, he does get the lead, which is big. This so, is a this is a big lead. Um, it's like I talked about yesterday, where he is giving up that point, but you know he's putting himself in good position to win the race. Mm -hmm. As well as he probably thinks, you know, especially when, when he made that first mistake in World 1, you know, at least this will make it a race in terms of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's actually got a pretty good lead. That's a really good here. point. That's a really good point. But he's like, look at him. both he's his not... bros, so. I don't know. He's not that far ahead from this, though. But we do know yeah. from what other runners have been doing lately is that Bagler will most likely be playing the Fortress anyways, right? Most runners are playing it anyway. So mm. um, skipping those two levels is like a legitimate two-level skip because everyone's going to play the Fortress anyways. Mm -hmm. All right, going on to World 3. But yeah, he does need to get the hammer in World 3. He I mean, has he to. He could also, you know, cloud over and do 3-7, but that kind of defeats the purpose of what he just did. So, right? I don't know, man. I expect. really don't think that that was the, the, the good choice, but we'll see. If he loses the both races by one point, then I was right. But if he doesn't, then you were right. So, yeah. predictions in chat, guys. 
It, it, yeah, it just depends on, you know, how close this race ends up being, I guess. Um, I'm excited, though. I love... I, that's the first one we've gotten so far. Yeah, no throne jump for Bagler, so they're both done with the throne jumps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Because... Because the run runners are going to skip the Hammer Brothers in World 3, now Stewie has to play them, right? And yep. do the Fortress anyways. Yep. And lose the point there. Every time I create points in the points tournament, do you know how many times I try really hard to make early hammer like some kind of thing? And it's just like, you can't. Like, I can't I can't yeah. award anyone for early hammer. It's just, it doesn't work like that. I'd, I'd love to, but it's not something you can get. Stewie jumping out of the water there. He needs to try and save as much time as he can to utilize the decision he made for the loss of point, right? Yeah. And uh, he didn't get the first frame jump, so this is a good opportunity for Bagler to to snipe a shared point here. Let's see if he gets it. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll also skip door four, which, you know, if Bagler goes for that, then he opens up a pretty uh, sizable lead in that case. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, true. I think that's what I would do. That might be what Stewie's plan is. Getting early hammer, maybe he's going for the sub 54, which... Uh, oh, that's true. That's a lot true. of... Well. Lot of ooh! Oh, taking, taking the damage. damage. Oh, my good. Oh, God. Oh, that is a hate-to-see-it moment. <laughs> and chat's calling it the Tass Spade game from Stu. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Stewie gets runaway, though. What's going to happen? He's got to get the hammer, and then he's going to... He's gonna have to do some weird stuff. Let's hope that the yeah. runaway is nice to him. And let's hope that, sorry, the early hammer is nice to him here. But yeah, I think that is the plan for him. It's probably, you know, I hate when people grab this flower, it's so bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is an anti-haxer flower. He definitely doesn't like this one. Yeah, it's, I think it's... I talked about this during the last coaching session. It's the worst backup power up in the entire game. You just got to like... be really good at grabbing it, which most nobody yeah. practices grabbing it, right? So it's just very slow. Right. Because the thing is, it only saves you three seconds. In reality, well, it may be a little more, but it's mostly like it's like three seconds in this level, and he goes for it anyway. Goes which I'm to the surprised door four. because. Because again, yeah, you know, I don't know, maybe it feels like it's tougher to hit some 54 because he messed up 3 2 so bad, I'm not sure. But that uh, I don't, I don't is know. an interesting choice. He didn't mess it up that bad. Well. See, look at look at the kind of, he could have a really big lead here if he just didn't go for that. Right, right, he would have. And, you know, now he's got to fight the Hammer Brothers too. And Stewie in that awful position right now. If that Hammer Brother moves mm -hmm. up, uh, this is. Just the just the scare factor alone like makes him run away and there it is. Oh my gosh yeah. I I Rich, Honestly this it's not that bad because he's already got the hammer He can cloud over play three seven cloud back if you know worst case scenario we, we you know there's things he can do but obviously um it, it hurts because he had that time save yes, and it's basically yeah. gone. And he's happens. getting inventory star too, so he's just losing that point. Yeah. Right? Oh, and that's oh, right. Like... He did the extra spade card game too. Stu! Stu! Oh, oh, sorry, oh he's he going is. over. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Okay, so he's not going to lose that point. I guess he's only playing the one extra level here. I don't know. I, that's weird. I, this is a very weird like, run from Stu. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like he shouldn't have gone for early hammer if this was the plan. Maybe, maybe it was a mistake, you know. And now he's correcting it. That could be as well. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Maybe he like went for early hammer, and then like two seconds later, he's like, "Ugh, what about the star point now?" And what if? Well, yep. Bagler got across, yep. too, with the Hammer Brothers, and now, look, Stewie's behind. He's not in the lead anymore. Yep, and both. he also... Or, I guess they both have to play the fourth, don't they? Because he skipped the Hammer as well. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I knew Stu was crazy, but wow. Oh, man.
end. So I, I know normally for commentary, we, we focus a lot more on what's going on in the levels, but this is just taking us away for a minute. Yeah. Like this is, I, I don't even know. I was not expecting something like this. I don't like, if I was in a GDQ and I got a movement of four after two, two, like I wouldn't go for early hammer. Even if I got post two, three, not sure if I would still go for early hammer. Oh man. Yeah, I'll be That's curious to scary. see if there was if there was like a mistake or if he had a plan and then something didn't work out. There could have been, you know, something that didn't work out as well. I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh late runaway does not constitute as runaway. The runaway has to be, you know, what runaway means is he runs away in a time where like it affects you yeah. in a very bad manner. Him running away after is not a true runaway. So neither runner actually securing any points in World 3. Uh, they didn't get the frame jump, no door 3, no runaway, um, and they both lost Fire Flower. Um, if I remember correctly, yes. Um, so now we're going to go Did they lose board. Fire Flower? Um, I thought he lost it in World 2. He might not have, but I thought he did lose it in World 2. Um, chat, chat will definitely let us know. We've just been blown away by uh, yeah. Stewie's run here. He might have lost it, and maybe I missed it, but I don't remember. I know he didn't lose it in three. He does not lose Fire Flower. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't remember him. I know Stewie lost it in three too. Yeah. He got Fire Kill in World Two. I don't think he's right, lost it yet. So, so maybe Bagler. Didn't lose it. Okay, he also marked it for himself, not losing it. Yes, Bagler did not lose the Fire Flower. Right on. Okay, so that's good. So... 1.3 million Mitch points? Holy crap. All right, if so I know... could have gotten an early hammer that run, I, I, I would have a lot of points. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is... Ah... Uh... Just stomp. Thank you. Oh, you mean if I would have got no hands that run? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I don't remember what I bet on. It must have been no hands. That's what yeah, it was, it was no yeah. hands. Yeah. All oh, right. I, so Bagler's got a bunch. Got to go for the bottom piece speed. Now this this level has created so many problems in the tournament, and I love it. I love every minute of it. Yeah. He does get it though. He's good. Everybody is always unsure though at the end there. There, <laughs> that's that second Koopa bounce. They're always like, uh, I don't want to miss it. <laughs> right? It's, it's such a weird spot. And throwing that curveball, yeah. making people do bottom route. Everyone's comfortable with top route because it's got that free full big jump. Uh, once you're up there, and uh, I don't know about you, but I'll take any big jump that's free that I can in a run. Yeah. Just influences consistency. Yep. Nice. Do so we get bottom pattern as well? Okay, just double killing the Koopas. No problem. Uh -huh. Has Stewie used his lifeline? No, he has not used his lifeline. Alright, Bagler in a uncomfortable position here. Neither runner has gotten star inventory, which is good. Stewie in a little bit better position, getting a movement of four, though. Um, and that's the problem with doing the Fortress in World 4, right? The, the having to move forward. Yeah. Um, with the bro, and the bro's just constantly running away from you, and then he switches with the other bros. It's so easy for him to do that. I, I would expect, since Stewie cleared the card, he should use a, a star here going into uh, 4F1. Nice, getting good RNG. He um, must know he's behind, both. right? Yeah, I think I think both, yeah, both are probably going to use a star. Bagler just used one, which yep. I think is good. Uh, um, fireballs do not kill thwomps, Haxer. They don't. They do not. No, um, you're not going to be able to get out of that. Yeah, there's uh, a potentially, you know, if you really struggle in this level, there's a safe way to do it, which is you just wall rub straight up with the star, and you'll just kill that thwomp every time. And uh, it's, it's only a couple seconds slower. Um, but you get to keep your for... fire flower, which is... Exactly. Oh, and there it is. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. If the Hammer Brothers switch... He can screen scroll past the other Hammer Brother, but the other Hammer Brother has nowhere to go. So he got some speed there, but he didn't get P speed. So this is going to influence his pattern here at the end. He's going to have to do uh, a slight turn back here. Otherwise, he'll get sniped. Yep. And uh... sometimes if you're too slow, he'll he'll throw out the other ones as well. So it's, it's a good thing he made it. Yep. 
Stewie with a really nice fortress there. That was a really good fortress for Stu. Uh, I think he feels he's... he's Oh, Bagler, no. Oh, was that a marathon? No, that was a movement of four. Close. Movement Stewie. of four, yep. yep. Clouding Stewie's or not clouding. Box. Music box in the hammer, bro. He does have an extra music box, and he will end up with three of them, so... Wow. Bagler getting lucky there, and boxless so far. Um, if the Hammer Brother moves up and the other one is already facing right, then he is in a good position. Trying to secure the duck jumps here. Don't forget the last one. Nice. And he gets a... it. Wonder if he just let go of right doing that at certain points, because you might as well. You can continue, you know, moving once you hit the, hit that maximum speed right. As long as you keep jumping, you'll be fine. That's right. And Stewie's Hammer Brother's in a great position, too. Oh, Stewie already didn't do a duck jump at the start. Stewie I'll not going to be that able... one enemy. Does that count as a <laughs> not duck jump? Well, he had to not oh, duck no. to land on the enemy, right? Yeah. Oh my well, god. He did just fall off a ledge instead of jump, so I don't know. Well, okay, no, so he, he did, like, he didn't duck jump on the enemy, which is why when he bounced off the enemy, he wasn't ducking, right? So mm. that's where he missed it. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw there was one later, though, where he just ran off a platform, too, so I was curious if that's considered or not. No, no, that's not a jump. It's a. Yeah. The old runoff. Yo, yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess the extra inventory comes in a little handy there, although, um, you know, he's not going to get too much use out of that fire flower, but no. get a little bit. No inventory star. Hey, chat, I don't want to point any fingers, but Stewie was doing any percent no wrong warp 20 minutes before his tournament. Not any percent warpless practice, so, I mean, is, is, that, is that the difference here? I don't know. The Bagler wasn't really practicing either. He was messing around. Yeah, still, uh, still fairly close. Mm -hmm. Still, uh, deathless for both people. So. Yep. Yeah, this could be anyone's um, game. Yeah, for sure, for sure. As we've already seen, three hands and no hands. Big, big time show. Yeah, this well. this morning, did you did you happen to catch um the end of Alice's and Mondi's run there, where Mondi got all three hands, and if Alice would have got no hands. She would have taken the lead in time, but she got grabbed by the third hand. It's just like so close. Yeah. Yeah. Just so close. I also noticed that, uh, um, I think it was in the first race, Alice would have been sub hour if she, uh, didn't go for door four. Just, uh, gonna throw that out there. Just saying that to everyone, just letting everyone know. Just, uh,. Just letting everybody know that, you know, if you have a little trouble meeting that hour. Wait, hold on, hold on, though. Uh, she would have got sub hour if she got door four, too, though, right? That is true. That <laughs> is true. But what's more likely? <laughs> door four is not the likely scenario, so. Or or if or I if didn't die, die five times. times. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is true. <laughs> But that's why I'm saying, you know, sometimes it's nice to have those 20 seconds. That being said, you might have got more hands, but, you know. That too. I mean, if every runner played perfectly, would anyone even be losing? Everyone just has the same points. They're all tied. <laughs> right on. Thank God this airship's over with. Stewie knows his fire kills. Oh. So that's not really oh a mistake God. on Stew's part. That's just like... You know, maybe he didn't mash fast enough or, you know, and it, it's yeah. just, a, it sucks. The bosses. Bagler messes this up. It leaves a little bit of room for Stu. Oh, wow. Really nice there. Nice. He's in there with the 289. No, you guys did great. All the runners do great. Everyone's done great so far. Is the Bagler going to go for it? Oh, yes, he is. I love watching people do this. We saw someone uh, earlier, right? Yesterday, miss going into the pipe, and that cost them the difference. Oh, Stewie not going to go yeah, for it. That, that was yesterday. Yep. And uh, yeah, Bagler doing the little flutters there. 
So you don't run on the hill? Boost there, so that way he can stay as big Mario, which I think is pretty good. Oh yeah, 284 in the pipe. There. Yup! 284 in the pipe is almost so, a guarantee, right? Yeah. So, and, I uh, feel like Stu's not gonna go for it. No, he's not. I knew it. We'll get a little bit of time back, but unfortunately, because Bagler picked up that point and has the lead, um, you know, he'll take that. It's gonna be a little hard. I'm, I'm wondering if Stewie's, you know, four or five years of Warpless are gonna come into play now, and he's like, you know what, race one, let's try and let's try and get the win and get those points, and then see how race two feels. Because mm. I feel like he's also not gonna go for the five four jump. And uh, if he doesn't, and Bagler does and misses it, it's a good time lead, too. It's a time lead, and then obviously, you know, the loss of point for the death, too. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think Stewie's going to go for that one. You think he's going to go for Jesus Clip? I don't want to see Jesus Clip. I don't think he'll go for Jesus Clip. No. Okay. And and Stewie has not gotten movements of four yet either. So uh, Bagler definitely not got movements of four. He's got I'm pretty sure all movements of two so far. Yeah, he's uh, neither runner getting what you'd consider normal RNG in World Five. Oh, oh wow, Stewie going for another P wing, I guess because oh imagine he could have avoided the music box here. Stewie got a movement of four there, or a movement of three. We'll we'll actually find out here. It looked. Kind of like a movement of four, but it might be a movement of three. Oh, no, he's not going to make it. Oh, wow, he made it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bagler for the, uh, is cleaning. Sunday sequence break. He's cleaning right he's not now. not it. Yeah, he does. He is uh, filling up a, a pretty decent card to this point, so... Uh, oh, and he gets the early P-Speed. Oh, so. baby. And it, the harder it version looks... of the early P-Speed. And, uh, yeah, he's picking up the leaf because he doesn't have the star inventory, so mm -hmm. uh, we get his flower back. Stewie did get a movement of four. Heads up play. So, yeah, Stewie doesn't know, but uh, he really needs to get that shared point in 5-5 five, five, or... Oh, no! Oh. Dang, and that's... He's that's gotta get that... That's Fire Flower Lost, too. Oh, that's right, Fire Flower Lost. That's a double point swing. Because he had that Fire Flower. Maybe he shouldn't have gone yeah. for that. And we've yeah, already seen... This point, though. So... Uh, well, we've already seen today, if you fail it, then you can't go for it again. Oh. Yeah. We had we had that same thing and we, we were talking about it in the previous race. Bag or Stewie needed that movement of four there to get that point at least. Oh, Stewie does get the oh, okay. So he does get the uh, early P speed. Using a star there has the extra inventory, so sure why not? Heck yeah. Makes the uh, P speed a lot easier because when you don't have fire there to take out those enemies, um, those jumps are pretty tight. It looks, it looks like Bagler and Stu are not going to be able to get that movement of four. Both of them have two movements of four, I think. Um, but yeah, as we as we finish up World Five here, we had that same thing happen earlier uh, today, Haxer. Uh, most things are normally generalized as one try only. Uh, most things are like that, and uh, yeah, we were talking about it, and it's like you you've. If you've died trying to get it, you've already failed it, right? So you don't get it, I guess. Um, so, yeah. We asked I chat. Was, I was thinking that, you know, since the only way you try again is if you die, so... Exactly, right? So, I mean, I guess you'd clean I mean, up the one point if... Um, yeah. I mean, but we could remember, do it the uh, other way, where you can try multiple times, but we're it's a little too late for that. Um, either way would have been fine I for me. I think it's season one when I raced Zakubi, he died in 2 2, um, and then he then got the point for getting into the pipe at, uh, I think it was 292 pipe, wasn't it, or something like that? Mm -hmm. Whatever yep, yep, that 292. Point was. And he got so the point, he did yeah. Get that point. 
Yeah, that's what that's why for these later seasons, it's like, listen, you like the one try, if you fail getting it, then you can't really get it again yeah. as you've already failed kind of thing. So it's a good thing we've already like season one was definitely the warm up like, OK, what's good, what's not. So thank goodness. But but for one, we don't know what's going on with that one. That one's just all the time something new. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, Stewie doing the, the potential soft lock clip on the pipe and uh, Bagler has <laughs> been listening, you know, taking the high ground on Mario here, um, you know. Our boy Roy, he's a he's a Chad, but uh, you know, if Mario wants to win that fight, he's got to be a Giga Chad. So you got to be a Chad beyond the Chad. That's right. Uh, I don't need to mark early P speed for Stu because they both got it. They both got early P speed. It ain't over yet. Stewie is behind. Um, let's see. Let's see what Bagler lands on the overworld map here at a 30-45, essentially. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep track and see exactly how far behind Stewie is. 30-45. And first Hammer Brother here is going to be low pattern. Low pattern. Starting low. Uh, I'm sad by the menuing that I saw there. That was uh, The non-optimal route? Yeah, the uh, the the seven right presses or six right presses <laughs> instead of two left or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Inventory's hard, okay. <laughs> but uh, the key is he used the correct item, so yeah, I guess that's the most important thing. Ooh, oh, missing the star, not dying. I think he's gonna have enough time still. But he knows the jump over. over. Oh yeah, he had plenty of time. He was still flashing. So about one minute behind so far from Stu. Coming up on one minute, 10 seconds here. Yep. So you said, what was it? Was it was upper pattern? Bagler got low pattern. Oh. First, first one. Oh, okay. Bagler got low. Oh! oh! And that's exactly what Stewie needs. He did, yeah. Gonna induce All an extra right. hammer brother movement. Stewie got also high. Going to, uh, he did get high. So Stewie's gonna have to hope that Bagler gets the same patterns here from Bro. So two uh two low patterns with Stewie. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know he's hoping for that, but that's what he's hoping for. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Bagler does not want to fight the star here. No, that's a that's a two-point swing if Bagler fights the star and yep. gets another low pattern. He's gonna find out right here, and that is the star. He's got one music box. He's gonna have to do an extra level now, but he does secure the point. He does secure the point. And, yeah, and uh, both both Stewie and Bagler have that point available to them as well. Yep. Oh, and that's again Ooh. another thing that Stewie needs. Bagler is starting to slow down. It seems he was um, doing really well through World Four and World Five. Uh, it yep. seems World Six is slowing him down. He's running out of a little bit of steam here. Yeah, and this is one of the worst time losses you can have in World 6, um, you mm -hmm. know, outside of dying. And actually, you know, his death in the last stage was quicker than what just happened there, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. So. He's got the tail, though. Um, so, Bagler needs high pattern here. He needs he needs to get high pattern, but he's not going to find out yet. Actually, nope. we're going to have to wait. And Stewie gets... The high pattern, so Stewie's gonna get the high and low right away. Get that out of the way early. No, he got two highs, didn't he? Stewie did get two highs, Stewie that's right. That. Stewie did get yeah. two highs. Yep. Yep, so. And he um, can't go for it's it. In his best interest. He can't, yeah, because he's already got the guaranteed point. You just take it. Mm hmm. Take the point. I hope he he's. can only lose points. <laughs> mm hmm. I hope he's aware of that. I hope he. Because, yep. yeah, if he goes for it and gets another high, that's definitely not worth it. All right, let's see what Bagler gets. He needs a high pattern. Bagler gets a high pattern. And he gets a high pattern, so. There we go. Got his cloud. Very big for him. And Stewie does know. Let's see if that's both good. runners remember. Oh, Bagler did not remember to use his leaf. Or did he oh, not he get a leaf? 
He had a mushroom and Stewie had a flower, so... That's right, we're okay. Good on this game. Yep. I'm just excited for them to get leaps. I just want everyone to have leaps. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. And make sure they actually use them, of course. Of so, course. Yeah, both... Both runners, this point is not available to them. However, this next point is available to them. That's right. Bagler was practicing this. Oh, he had it! He did. So he Stewie had it. with an opportunity here. For an extra point. Shared point. Doesn't know he has this opportunity. But. Uh, Bagler has only died once. And if you die once, you don't actually lose a point for dying. You just lose the reward for deathless, which is pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Bagler's only Stewie died once. And Stewie has died twice, I think, right? No, only once? Died? No, I think he died once. Only yeah. once, that's right. He just died in... Uh, oh, he got unlucky. Life. Yep. And that's why uh, I hate them small Mario wall jumps, man. And that's If you don't manipulate it, just for some reason, that first attempt. Yeah, so well, I mean, you have a small window, it. right? It's a zero to five, isn't it? Yeah. No yep. floor clip for Bagler. Which, which seems like a pretty decent, you know, window, but it, it really isn't. <laughs> seeming to be like it just yeah. Uh, yeah it's not a window. Ends up equipping some inventory here, um, which will make it so he doesn't have to stop for that power up and get to attempt um, the clip here, and he does need it. Oof. Oh, he needed that. He did. Unfortunately, um, neither runner cleaning up too many points here in World Six, although. They didn't have a ton available to them. However, both getting the no inventory star point, so... That's right, both getting the no inventory star. Let's go. So as the points are right now with Bagler in the lead with time, this is going to be a very hard game too for Stu. If things continue to be yep. the way they are now, um, Stu will have to hope that Bagler starts dying on all these points, gets very unlucky, and then takes the win in time. So we'll see. Why didn't Stewie get the high-low point? Because Stewie got two high patterns. He did not get a low, and uh, there was no point for him to go for the other one because it was an inventory star. That is correct. He could only lose points in that situation. He already had the guaranteed point. That's right. That's right. So there is... Let's, let's take a look here. Um, let's take a look here what Stewie might need. Bagler could mess up 7-3, not get first try or no P-Wing, and bump. And that will allow, that would be a four point swing right there, especially if Stewie got no bumps first try in P-Wing. That'd be four, four off of Bagler and then three on to Stu. Oh, that Bagler messing up the fire kill there, but uh, should be able to clean this. Oh, take some damage. Not too bad, not too bad. Still big Mario. I don't think that was the sub pixel 15 or 14 there. I think he turned left, but I don't think he moved left. Yeah, so some potential here for Stewie to pick up some time, both with the the fire kill and then potentially the clip too, depending on what happens. Yeah, there, so. um, I really feel like um, the Bagler is going to go for stand clip, and again, I don't know exactly how hard people are pressing. Right, it's definitely a feel thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, and that, yeah. That is not a tournament that, strat. Is Stu going to go for the guaranteed? No, he's going to go for the duck strat, and Bagler misses it. I don't think Bagler jumped perfectly into it, so we'll never find out from there. And this so these is... These are precious seconds. He keeps jumping late here. Um, there it is. There we go. That was still a solid 10 to 15 second time loss for the Bagler there, right? Six tries, seven tries, yeah. something like that. Each attempt is normally around two seconds. The other thing here is I'm not sure what his inventory looks like in terms of stars because he didn't clear the end card like Stewie did. So, I, I you know, Stewie should be good in terms of inventory. Um, yeah, Stewie's good. Oh, there it is. He's got okay, stars. Okay, he's got, he's got Stewie not getting first try. All right. That's right, he hasn't used any. That, right, so that's two, four, six, eight, right? It's just counting, ten. 12, right? It just goes up. And that was a wasted attempt, so it's not even an opportunity. So, and that's the there worst part about wasted attempts is that you could actually have the right subpixel, but you didn't jump properly. 7 1 is a gatekeeper. But do you know what's pretty good, Haxer? Is that they are now, in terms of time, 
in the hands range, right? Hands could potentially change it. Yes. Yeah. They are in the hands range. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can have, you know, big, big time swing with the hands, so. Right on, Bagler not getting punished. Stewie! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Does he get pipe to pipe? No, no pipe to pipe. No bonk yet for Bagler. No bonk yet for Bagler. Here we go. This is it. Stewie, so far no bonk either. Has to uh, get this P speed here. Oh, he does get it. Does oh, it was slow though. It he's, was. He's not gonna get it. I don't think he's gonna get it. And he did a high jump stomp there. You gotta stomp him low. Oh, he did. That was oh, frames. That was did. frames. Wow. Very nice on Bagler's wow. side. Yeah, he, Mario did not use his strong legs there. <laughs> Oh, and he doesn't get a first right. try. Yeah, Second try! Pretty, that's a pretty smart uh, strat from Stewie there, is the P-Wing then Cloud, because you lose the P-Wing state, so... That's right. I've seen that before. A time Oof. there. Yeah, he's not going to get it, because of no. the two jumps. Yeah. Very close. He did the jump fly, too, so I think that makes it a little bit harder for him. But he could get the first try clip. He is very familiar with this clip, right? He has done, uh, what was it, the small Mario only? Yes. And so he does a lot of World 7. Ooh, Megalimus and that. Yeah. Oh. He's pretty good at this one, but... Uh, Bad subpixel. Like he did not have the right one there. I think, right? His first uh, jump was I'm... good, but bad subpixel, right? Yeah, it looked like it was good. Everybody having some trouble with 7-8, um, seemingly. Mm-hmm. 7-8. We've, we've seen people have a lot of trouble with uh, the 4-6 point. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Anything but, please. No. No. Make sure that Goomba's dead. Ooh, hey, he had the right sub-pixel. Did. And the problem I'm with... Actually to see um, people with these times going for these clips, or even playing this level. Um, I actually think Stewie's not going to play this level, but... You think he's going to go for the Fortress? Yeah, that will be a big time swing for him, at least something. And he did 7-8 much getting... faster. He did. Getting the P-Speed at the end there, very nice. Um, so yeah, he can potentially save a decent chunk of time here. Um, no, he's gonna oh, do he it. He's gonna play it. Don't go for mm. them. Smart move. Oh! Oh. Okay. Yep. Goes for the free clip. It actually doesn't cost any time because it delegs the section, so you save the amount of time you would have lost due to lag. Yep. Stewie is still gonna catch up in time here. Um, and I forgot Bagler had to do the extra the extra level here. So this is way oh. crazy in hand range. Cause Stewie's just gonna blast past this. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been crazy if if Stewie clouded this level. I think they'd be about even right now. Um, I guess he doesn't feel confident about even star stratting the fortress, which I think is for him should be pretty easy. But I understand it. I've also done the same thing before. Um, in marathons and races, played 7-9, uh, um, and regretted it before as well, but yeah. No bumps from either of them. Bagler, no bumps, and no bumps from Stu. Stu actually held the direction in the inventory, so when he comes out, it the delay is already applied without bumping on the map, which is a pretty good strategy, um, especially if you do that after every transition. You just hold the... Yeah, that's... I didn't even think about that. After every level you beat, if you hold left and you move one, you won't bump, but you will have to wait for the delay, but then you don't have to worry anymore. That's uh, that's an interesting play there. Stewie has to take the points away from Bagler for the win and give him the second place. He has to. He's seven behind right now. Mm -hmm. But 
A lot of people say when you're this far behind going into race two, um, it seems like it's un, you know, it's a little uneven in that aspect. But you know, Bagler was able to secure a seven point lead in game one, so why couldn't Stu get a seven point lead in game two, right? Yeah, it's just uh, you know, it, it's tough though. Most most people uh, don't play well in that situation because uh, you know I've noticed it too, and that's. Why I think I've had a lot of success in these tournaments is because I've built that lead after the first race, and it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent. They start pressing, um, you know, mm -hmm. it's they start like thinking too far ahead as well, like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, instead of like, you just gotta go point by point. Um, yeah, worry about what's there in front is, of you, not not what's what's yeah. later. But try not to forget, like, how's your inventory going, right? Because in Season 2, yeah. which is a great example, is like a lot of confusion with the inventory and a lot of time. You remember how much time everyone spent opening up their inventory and sitting there looking yeah. at it, trying to figure out what they're going to yeah. do? Which, you can't blame them. It's not, you know, inventory changes a lot, and that's what made that a really good point. But so much time spent, right? Yeah, and I don't it, even know if you it, capitalized it a lot of time. on those points in season two, did you? The inventory Me? points often, inventory? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah, did. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, the, I I had a route where I didn't even really have to think about it, just based on what I what I fought. It's mm -hmm. just everything lined up. That's so called I practice, order ladies and gentlemen. Everything. Yeah. That's called practice. Yep. Not to say no one's practicing, but you can never drill too much practice into people. Always practice. Um, yeah. There's there's ways that you can practice that that help you and there's ways that you practice that don't help you A lot of people try and practice to be as good as they can instead of practicing Throwing themselves in situations that they're not comfortable with and that's a really good way to practice Like really throw yourself out of your comfort zone All right, here we go one of the, Yeah, one of the things you know about this in particular is when you do runs you have to like go back and either watch them or like think about what happened and, and why and uh, how you can prevent things you didn't want to happen from happening mm -hmm. um, and it's just like you know constantly um, amending that process as new things happen so uh, it, it, like a good example too, randomizer is very similar to where um, you just try if you play enough you play enough seeds you've seen enough situations you know like you just know what to do in these different situations mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. and a lot of times it actually ends up being that case scenario like i've been in the tournament races mm -hmm. and and i'm like nope i'm not going for that because i know blah 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 is going to be there and then i'm going to get screwed over and and mm -hmm. you know what guess what happened it was there and it, it would have screwed me over um it's crazy yeah. so yeah, when you when you go back and watch your runs or go back and try and figure out things, anytime you ask yourself, well, what if this happened? Then you want to go back and keep practicing to get yourself in that what if this happened situation. Mm -hmm. Get ready and try and deal with as many scenarios as you can. Ooh, the moving backwards. And we're on auto scroller land for these two runners. And they are definitely in big hand range. It looks like Stewie's, what, about 30, 20 seconds behind? Yep. Sounds about right. So maybe two hands versus, you know, two hand difference can swing this one potentially. Yeah, well, it could be one and then, uh, you know, that one hand accidentally taking you like 30 seconds. Because I know hammer suit hand yeah. one is awkward. Yeah, that's true. You awkward. know, keeping the hammer suit versus not, uh, you know, what happens in 8-1 and 8-2, definitely not a guarantee. I think, you know, we're more likely to see good 8-1 and 8-2s come out from these two, but uh, it's definitely not a guarantee. Yeah, I mean, people are already calling it. Bagler's gonna get no hands. Oof, gotta watch out. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, you can actually land on those wrench wrench guys and they will lift you up, but you gotta watch out. They'll, they'll damage you. They'll, t they'll hit you. Okay, so both on the Navy, and I, I I honestly love to see that. It's just like in the randomizer, I want both people to be in World 8 at the same time. <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. And, and neither runner knows where the other runner is. So I mean, at least they shouldn't. Do, 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 do. 
How many is he gonna? All and right, one. Understand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting with this guy at the end. Okay, he doesn't jump, so. Oh. See what I mean? So th so every hand is about 20 seconds or up, but this hand was definitely over 20 seconds for Bagler. Ooh, he's getting one and three. Of his Stewie gets no hands here. Oh, hand one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> every time. Every time. Everyone gets, everyone gets hand one except for the one person who got no hands. I think we, we've seen one no hands so far. Yeah, TP. Oh, no hands. That's right. So if Stewie gets no more hands here, this could be really clutch. Oh. Uh, he's going to get all three. <laughs> he's going to get all three. Yeah, he is. He's going to get all three. <laughs> he's going to get all three. <laughs> oh, Monday, Monday today also got no hands. That's right. They each oh, got two. Okay. Oh, right. Stu waving Maybe. around a little bit. Oh, I'll never forget when I was on, when I got my first uh, sub 51 pace run, when I entered this level and I got no hands, I was like waving all, I should have lost my hammer suit in this level for <laughs> sure. For sure. I was all over the place. It's so nerve wracking. Yeah, it seems like people maybe overlook practicing this level because uh, I see a lot of people having trouble staying out in front of the ship, which is the safest way to do it. So, you know, mm -hmm. I see people like trying to duck and dodge wrenches when just kill these guys. See, like what Stewie's doing right now. This is exactly it's just how you so play comfortable this, level. this way. Yep. Yeah. All right here comes the combo point. Anything can happen. I mean, we've seen anything so far. That was a thick turn back. I don't. I, ooh. Okay, I think he. I think he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He'll get 289. Oh man, I, what? I was too generous here with the 289s. Yeah, oh, it should be. It yeah, should be okay. 289 is, uh, it should be okay. It's not too bad. I think 289 still induces like you have to get the piece speed still. So. Oh, oh, yeah, not even doing yeah you, you have to get, you know, the, some form of the early P speed, anyway. So I don't think you can get it with the, with the uh, Frezzy Man strats. Pretty sure you can't. I think it's 287 or 288. Mm-hmm. Right on, and just like that, Bagler gets the combo point. Well, that's part of it, too, is having to do this one right after as well. Yep, just early oh. there and uh, taking the death, unfortunately, panicking because he gets the bad sun pattern as well. That's right. Ooh, Bagler not getting the conveyor piece speed. But uh, he gets another shot here, I guess. <laughs> and then gets the good pattern. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, he died, and, uh, so it broke up the combo. Be... Yeah, he technically got it, but... Uh... Oh, the sad tone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my streams are working now because I turned the stupid... Um, what's it called? Hardware acceleration off in Chrome. God, that... that what a dumb th feature, man. It drives me nuts. That's what the problem was the whole time. Interesting. All right. Stu can get conveyor P-speed. He jumped a little far there, Not ran a little it. far there. Yeah. No, yeah. You got to be a little bit more, you know, on top of your jumps there. Gotta get the tip of that that conveyor, man. Just the tip. Just the tip. Oh, the oh, double. Ooh, he's is, doing the Mitch. He's gonna lose his the, the door. Almost. Wow, that was frames. Frames. Yeah, I see this two people scared of these guys. You know, just, just use that uh, screen scroll. Do the old yeah. Do the old stomp stomperoo. Don't forget about the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the scary one. Yeah, that's that's the one you might forget about because you're like, oh, I haven't seen one of these guys for a while, and all of a sudden, surprise! Here's a wrench. There he is, right there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is. Okay, doesn't get the comp. Doesn't get the overkill. 
Eckler would have to die in statue room, right? Mm hmm. Pretty much. All right, Bagler coming in. He's well, trying to secure the win. I think he just here. died. Period. I, I uh, going for the clip. Very interesting. Oh. 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 Gonna have, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go randomizer yep. for this one. And see, the, there's another, there's another trick there, guys. You gotta go with the second stair, and that won't happen. That's right. If you uh, bump. That's why I switched to team second stair. It's for that reason. Team two, two stair. Oh, yeah. the early throws, but he does nail it, and Ben is gonna secure first place in game one with a massive point lead. This is second place in most points in one race, I think. I think somebody got 16. Not sure though. So we also trying to go yeah, for the clip. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, he's gonna have a pretty good lead for sure. Um, going in that second race, um, I'm not really sure what the way the points are this year. You know, ten is gonna be a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's less point. I think there's less points in season three than it was in season two, and I think there's less. Um, given points as well. Not like I mean points acquired mm -hmm. versus points like two two points for one thing, two points, three points. There's no three pointers. There aren't a lot of there aren't recovery points either. Um and there really haven't been since season one. There really mm -hmm. weren't any recovery points last season either. Mm -hmm. So just Jesus clip in season one, which uh actually is the sole reason Stewie has won a game in the tournament, so did hit that in season one for the win. And so just pretty good. like that. Stewie finishes with a 56 24, getting second place with two deaths. Bagler with one death. Um, neither runner getting sub 54, so they're not going to be awarded that points. We have not had a sub 54 yet this season, Haxon. Not yet. I know. Hope to um, see it. I really thought Stewie was going to go for it there. Um, I think he had potential to get it, to be honest, if he just. Continue with the early hammer, right? So, um, but he did decide to opt to secure the guaranteed points instead. I think, uh, based on the times we saw there, at some point I will probably see one, but yeah. Bagler 15, Stewie with 5. Yeah, it's Stewie's question it right now. 5, question mark. Yeah, 5. Unfortunate. Yeah, because he got... He secured 2 points after he died on the level. Right, so um, let's go back and make sure we... we uh, no Tunnel got Red Rocket. Didn't get anything in 3. Got bottom piece speed in four. Lost fire and died in world five. Got inventory star in world six. Got two high patterns. Didn't have leap. Didn't get wall jump. No bumps in world seven. Didn't get first strike clip or 183. Uh, didn't get the combo 289, 291. Didn't get conveyor piece speed. And he died two times. Yep, and second place. So that is five. So. Bagler, so if Bagler gets zero points in the next race, Stewie still needs to get 10. Yeah, died. Died in 5 4 slash lost fire. Two point loss there. Yep. So Stewie's now asking about the 5-4. Uh, it doesn't say you have to do first try, but dying while trying to go for it insinuates that you failed it, which means you wouldn't get the point. Is essentially how, how it goes. Don't worry, we got commentary hacks are all over it.
Okay, so we're gonna give the runners a five minute break. You guys go ahead and stretch your legs, get a drink of water. I am also gonna go to the bathroom. say first try i don't know <laughs> it doesn't i i you know i i'm like it's i don't know i i guess i can't say it's insinuated first try but when you think about it he had already failed it so he, regardless you wouldn't get the point um and a failing it also results in a death so it, it is kind of implied there's not much i could really do um, yeah or say about it. It's kind of been like that for most of the points. Almost every point is based on first try. I know some points well, do say I, first try specified. I know. I know that. I well, I had you put that in. I think one of the seasons for a Jesus clip because there could be a strategy where you just continuously go for it since those are three points. All right? Yeah. If you die once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and then you especially if you didn't boom, boom. already have yeah. fire flower. Yeah. So yeah, like the the strat would be if you lose race one big, you could just like stockpile inventory items and go into world five and just Jesus clip and try to get a bunch of points that way. So yeah, well, I don't I don't think any runner in the tournament so far has gone back and got the the um. The five four second try after they've died on it. I don't think any runner's gone back and got it after the try. I, I really, really hate stuff like this, so, like, I'm honestly thinking just give him the point. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think... I, and then it didn't affect the outcome earlier, right? And it wouldn't affect, you know... No, the race earlier wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. have, um, wouldn't have uh, affected Jeez. anything. So we'll just give him the point, um, yeah, and then... Yeah, might as well. I can write in the general update, 5-4 has to be one try. Give him the points. Bagler is 15. Stu is 6. And then head on over to general. Head on over to general. Update! <laughs> 5 4 <laughs> needs first try only. <laughs> update! 5 4 first try only. And then it'll probably be updated in the actual rules. Uh, Kaylee will probably update it in the uh, Google Docs there and just write in 5-4 uh, first try. Okay. All right. Uh, race countdown. Done is done. Done is done. Let's move on. All right. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to go to the bathroom. I've been having to go since like World 6, so I will be right back, guys. Hold on just one sec. Latest played. Latest played. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for race two. Soon. Who's ready? Who's ready? Nobody? Nobody's ready? Is there anybody out there? Hello? Testing. Is this on? <laughs> Got a pee? Is anyone really ready though? You're not. No one's ever ready. It's true. Your seven sevens ready? That thing's never ready. I don't know, man. I don't know what kind of grease you gotta apply to that piece of shit, but it's uh, it's never ready. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Did you hear something? I don't know. Are you what are you hearing? 
Tell us. Tell us why you're hearing. You're hearing voices. I mean, you probably don't want to tell us that. You hear voices. I don't know, man. I think you're gonna gonna need to go to somebody to get some help with that. I think. I can't help you with that, unfortunately. Um. Deathmatch the tourney winner for double or nothing. I mean, it wouldn't be fair for the tourney winner. Uh, you know, I'd just take all their money. So obviously, they wouldn't like that, you know. How how sad would it be if we do that double or nothing, I take their money that they won in the tournament, right? And then I convert it into pennies, and I fill my entire bathtub with those pennies. And then I bathe in those pennies. All right. That's that's kind of how I picture this going right now. If that were to happen. Of course, I don't know if I really want to bathe in pennies. That sounds like, you know, you're going to catch some sort of disease. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point, Zero Wolf. <laughs> You're still owed 160k Mitch points? Look. The points don't matter. Alright. Haven't you ever seen whose line is it anyway? It's basically the best analogy for Twitch points. Copper poisoning? Well, I can tell you this much. If I got a bathtub full of pennies, I think Summoning Salt would be interested if I made a stream, taking each one of them out and examining them. I don't know if you guys saw him do that, but that was interesting. Apparently he's uh, very big into to coins, so... Yeah, something Saul would be thrilled. Yeah, that was, an, that was a good scream, stream. I, I learned some stuff about coins I had no idea, so... Yeah, he was looking for wheat pennies, yep. Your copper does wonders for your back. I wonder if he was salty if he didn't find any good coins. Oh, he found good coins, you know. He might not have found the jackpot, but uh, he found pennies that were worth dollars. Think about that one. Pennies worth dollars. In what world does that make sense? In ours. That's right. In a world where you have people with a lot of money and nothing to spend it on. Found a couple of nice Indian heads. Yep. Yeah, Let's go. I'm going to miss. Some like really old, old uh, Canadian coins too that were like pro province specific coins. We're talking about Canadian coins? Sorry, like I'm talking. Loon loonies and Toonies? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw, did you see that summoning salt stream he did a while ago where he was examining like he was sorting coins pennies, looking for wheat penny? Yeah. Yep. I was watching yeah. that one. Yeah. Um, okay. So there about. is a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of issue with Stewie getting the point there in the discord. Um, and of course, you know, when things aren't, specifically said in the rules sometimes there's always going to be altercations during these tournaments um so the reason i gave Stu the point there is because i feel like if he had known if i had specified better in the rules i don't think the second attempt in 5-4 he would have gone for it again because had he messed it up he would have died thinking that he was going to get a point if he succeeded and obviously he he had thought that so that is actually 100 percent uh my fault and I guess later tonight I can go through the rules again and specify more clearly um, about rules and with the first try, non-second try. This is the first time, because I don't think we had this problem in season one or two, did we, Haxer? Nobody really um, um, nobody no, said anything like about that one stuff. instance I, mess, or I mentioned about Zakubi um, in 2-2. I think that was the only time in season one where that was an issue. And then mm -hmm. in season two, I'm not sure there were any 
were there even any points that were like potentially second try because most of the stuff you specified like within x amount of tries i feel like Mm -hmm. yeah so to to make sure scarface nico knows i'm not giving Stu a point because i feel like it i'm giving him the point because i should have specified better and i feel like he wouldn't have gone for that um yeah had i said it was first try so he did risk it again a second try and nailed it um thinking that he would get the point and that that's that's why so it's really my fault and that's why he's getting the point because it was my fault okay it it is definitely good that we clarify these stuff yeah i've got no hard feelings the the best part about this is that i'm not in the tournament so i don't have to worry about this but i will try and be as fair as i possibly can um i create all the points on my own so obviously i'm not going to be able to hit everything um and definitely uh do my best so I will go through the rules again tonight and I will re-update them and then post them in the Discord if there are any crazy changes and I'll make sure that I clarify as much as I can. All right, so let's go ahead and get the second race going. Let's uh, let's mark down. We had 15 to 6, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and mark those down. Uh, 15 to 6. Wee! 15 to 6, and we're moving on to race 2. Game 2, right on. Okay, let's make sure these runners are ready. Is chat ready, though? Is chat ready? I'm ready. Not really, but start without you. I'd never start without you. Ready for the greatest comeback of all time? It's going to have to be one of those. Yeah, for sure. All right, here we go. Definitely need some fortunate bounces. One. Go. Woo. Round two for Stewie versus Bagler. Uh, we're going to start off with Stewie's audio. Ooh, watch out for the sound. The sound doubling up. Almost dying on the plant there. It's, it's you know. You don't want to die on the plant there, not on the first one. Yeah, you got to cons- That's why you got to consider those, those pipe rub strats, man. But yeah, again, you know. Going, oh my gosh, Bagler almost going in the hole in one as well right the, I, hey let's start talking about things that stewie would need <laughs> and that is definitely one of them an early death right there yes yes absolutely giving him both a lead and then you know obviously taking points away from his opponent so That's right and both run is getting early p speed and one two how did we get early p speed i can't do it mitch the speed runs hard that's how you do it you gotta uh, watch you these guys B. Run forward, jump, jump again, run, jump at the right time, and then do some more jumps. That's how you get it. Yeah, you, you gotta stop watching me. You gotta start watching these guys. They know how to get peace speed. Oh. So Stewie goes for OG strats, and so does Bagler, and they both get it. Right on. So Stewie already having a better race. Bagler making sure he keeps up. He had a little slip up in 1-1, one, one, but Bagler's a really, really good Mario 3 runner, so um, he should make sure... Stu's got to work for this win if he does win, right? All right, so Stu's first opportunity to get some points here. Needs this. Uh, tips. <laughs> yeah. Smack the back of his foot. foot. Yeah. Yeah. It was looking pretty good, but it's the tip there. All right, so Bagler's turn. Opportunity to extend the lead and uh, does not get the duck input and also tips the end. So yeah, yeah, he, no he, shot. He did the same thing that Stewie did in the first race too with the the duck unduck thing. Yeah, on the jump. And Stewie doing the 2011 strats here in one six. Let's go hard visual cues. That's what it's all about. Yep. <laughs> the tough visual cues. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't switched it yet. Yeah, Bagler with so the updated <laughs> ones. Yeah, like, yeah, Bagler, yeah. Bagler's got the updated uh, visual cue. And it, not only not helps like with, like... Take Stewie... Yeah, it wouldn't take Stewie much time to learn. It would take, like, a day, I think. Okay, he needs a leaf here. Yeah, he absolutely really badly. 
Oh, and he gets it! And he gets it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh Fangler gets a leap oh. too, though! <laughs> all right, it comes down to memory. Fangler's too strong, man. Fangler's too good. It's all that wavy hair he's got, right? It's all that hair he's got. He's, he's just too strong. <laughs> So yeah, Stewie probably feeling good about getting the leaf, unfortunately, not knowing his opponent also got the leaf, so... Um, yeah, not, uh, not the best situation for him, but uh, he does go into the airship with a lead, so that is a good situation. You know, I think uh, one of the keys for him is he's gonna have to get a sub-54. Yeah, he just has to, so... Um... Whatever Stewie has to do in order to get that is uh, is what he needs to do. <laughs> Whoever stands in his uh, way is gonna crumble. Eh? He's good. He'll yeah. do what he has to do. Yeah, you know. Well, he might not do what he has to do, but he has to get it. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's he has to win and then get that because that's again we were talking about. That's three points right there. So and, Bagler, uh, Bagler taking damage. Not going to be so. entering World 2 with Fire Flower, which means he's not eligible for the World 2, World 3 Fire Flower point. Damn. So, Stewie with an opportunity here to gain some extra points on Bagler. Um, also, more opportunities in this world to gain additional points with RNG from the Hammer Bros moving backwards. So, uh, did they get Throne Jumps? I don't remember. Throne jumps are really hard to keep track of for some reason. I know. I think it's the runner in us, yeah. right? When we get to the airship, it's instantly look away kind of thing. Yeah. Um. For sure. Don't worry. We we have a we have a lot of mods and stuff always looking over uh, the stuff. So. Because uh, that's another thing that uh, could be a nice little uh, boost for Stewie. You know, if he could get those two points and and Bagler doesn't get them. That's a big two point swing right there. Mm -hmm. All right, Stu. Doesn't need to full clear. But he's going to. He's going to, I guess. You know, I really think, yeah, I agree with you. You probably should cut out some of this anyway. You know, get the stars maybe and then... Uh, well, if he loses here, don't... or if he goes behind in time from a full clear... Oh, man. And just look at how much time yeah, Bagler just caught up there. Because he went for the full clear, <sighs> yeah, right? That... They're pretty much even when you look at time. <gasps> so, and Stewie uh, taking the death there. Oh, the, uh, man. The too, the too Too Fast, Too Too Furious. Too Too Fast, Too Too Furious. I've never heard that before. No moat from Bagler, though. Ooh, almost lands in the sand. Sands of Haxer. Any sand pit is the sand of Haxer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, both I runners don't, I don't getting. Land sand the pits. Game. Let's see here. Both runners got the spade game. That that's not that bad. It really is not that bad. He's, he's got to dust it off. Yeah. So yeah, he, he loses a point, but uh, you know, loses the opportunity for another point. But uh, he can still get his lead back as well. It's not too far back. Yeah, it's good. It's gonna be really hard for him. But we have seen. Uh, people make some pretty big mistakes. Um, if you recall from season one or two, um, I can't remember exactly who it was, but they just completely brain farted in World 3, not knowing what to do with the Hammer Brother. I think they got a coin ship. They didn't know which direction to go. They didn't know if they should die. Um, yeah. Oh, Bagler getting the backwards movement. That's really good for Bagler. Bagler needs, Bagler needs to make sure he gets like a solid like eight points. Eight, eight points right there, and, like, I would really feel like I'm in for the win, you know? Mm-hmm. Something yeah, like that. You can, uh, you know, get this point, too. It, uh, it's, it's getting harder. There's less opportunities for Stewie to get these points as Bagler continues to clean up some of them as well, so... Very nice. Red Rocket for both runners. Stu's got his lifeline, too. Yep. So you will have to use that as well. Um, we'll see what the Hammer Bros uh, do here, huh? Yeah, Stu hasn't fought one yet, but... And Stu had that opportunity. He did take damage, right? Um, with the death. Yeah. Lost the Fire Flower. Yep. 
So neither runner is going to be eligible for the no loss fire flower. Yep. Two points that uh, he could have had, unfortunately. All right, well, let's see let's here. See. Stewie's still not getting the chance to fight these guys. No, They're running not away yet. from him. He's going to do the harder level. Harder level, but uh, not not too tough. Yeah. He's done this one a few times. Mm -hmm. A little bit faster, though, too, right? A little bit faster. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit faster. All right, Bagler, if he moves backwards, and he does. Oh, Bagler is unstoppable. Wow. And Stewie's also moves backwards. So. Also moves backwards. And he's got better routing, too, hopefully. Yeah. All right, guys, if you can guess what boss pattern Stewie is going to get. I'm going to keep doing this till someone actually guesses. <laughs> what's what Stewie got? Uh, uh, movement of one plus. Yeah, movement of one. Well, we don't we don't know. A, yeah, we don't know a movement he'll get, but it's the bros between the uh, um, the mm -hmm. castle and the pyramid. So if you guys can tell me what uh, what our salty boy Morton's going to do and you're not subbed to the channel or if you are. You can, you know, choose somebody for me to gift sub to. The only caveat is, I'm Ooh. not going to give it out if you're a runner. You should know this pattern. Stewie's hammer, brother, moving forward, not getting the RNG point. But they both have the leaf from the Mushroom House. That's going to be interesting uh, to see what happens. Warpless pattern. See, that's not specific enough because this is a warpless pattern. <laughs> You're They're right. playing warpless. Every pattern is kind of a warpless <laughs> pattern. Uh, how are we on throne jumps, uh, judges? How are we on throne jumps? Double check. Move forward and jump without shooting. Move backwards and shoot. That one's not possible. Yeah, the boss has never moved back well at least not move forward and shoot creamed corn pattern what is with jahali and like food related things like he's always about the half and half and cream corn especially now. dairy yeah he's like, what's going on with the cream here Are you sure you're not Midwestern? Yeah, hair cream, shaving cream. No thrones for Stu, so Stu's not going to be able to uh, keep up with any of the thrones. He's going to be able to get the fire so the kill. the answer was... So actually moving forward and shooting would have been correct, except he got a movement of two from the whistle bro. So he got the uh, movement of one warpless pattern, which he just stands in place and shoots. That's because he's a prig. Right off the bat, no, nope, not the jump. All right, brain perfect jump here. Let's get back into the reality of the run here with points, with what's going on. So we do not have to keep track of any of the thrown jumps. Both runners have not got the thrown jumps yet. Um, I would say that the thrown jumps are like, ooh, you know, they're, they're, they may be a little too hard, but the clip in 643 was not used once until the, what was it, the last race against you in season two? <laughs> yeah. That's when it was done, right? And that's why it's back in. Yep. That point's trash. Oh, it running. is. I think it's only been done two times. Season one, it was done once, wasn't it? Once or twice? Yep. Correct. It was done season one time. Does. I forget who did it, but uh, I know someone did do it in season one. And I think it was Narfman who did it in season one. Very nice move. Oh yeah, can can anyone confirm in chat if Alice did go back and watch her 5-8 and wondered why she didn't shoot the... Oh, Stewie randomly losing P-Speed. Been there before, been there before. Um, I think wait. he made the same mistake in both runs. The exact same mistake in this level. Bagler getting runaway, bro. That's a point. That's a point. It's the first one I've seen. Uh huh. Uh, like again, this season is all about benefiting getting unlucky, right? That's season one and two is like you know get lucky, 
play well, you get points. Season three is play well, get unlucky, get some points. But if, nobody's getting really unlucky. That We've had two runaways this season so far, right? Two runaways, that's it. Ooh, yeah, that's the three is pretty, crazy. pretty crazy. The three, three, three fire flower, Dan's game. Oh, not getting it. So we can take the lead in time here. Hmm, no, not quite. Uh, if he doesn't go for the door form. And he's gonna go for it. Oh, he's gotta he doesn't go for get it. it. Yeah. yeah, he had to go for it because he needs the points. Yep. All right, so run away. Unfortunately, um, RNG not being very nice to Stewie right now for the points because I think Bagler's gotten every RNG point to this point. That's a lot of. Um. Yeah. So far, yeah, because he's got the leaf, so he's got the backwards bro and runaways. Um, and that's actually really nice for Bagler because he's n he's not getting this yep. some of the skill points, right? He's not getting door four. He didn't get frame jump. He's lost fire flower and he didn't get tunnel. And again, yeah. more RNG kind of uh, lucky for him that that bro is where he is because he's not going to be forced to fight the star bro or forced to use the music box. So, mm -hmm. um, exactly. Bagler getting the best of both worlds. He played very, very well in race one. And I'm not saying he's not playing well, but he's definitely getting the luck to back him up here. Let's do with the 88 yeah, coins. He definitely has to feel pretty comfortable with, uh, you know, getting some of that stuff. You know, if I had all those RNG points in my pocket, I would assume that my opponent's probably not gotten all of them as well. So, well, I mean, if you make it to World Five and you've gotten all the RNG points, the odds are both of you getting it. I don't think so. Yeah, I pretty, don't think pretty so. Low, so, I heard Bagler was getting really unlucky in practice. Um, so this is um a breath of fresh air probably for him. Because, like, sometimes you need a little help. Uh, you can't always play well in Mario 3, as you guys, you know, watch me and watch a lot of other people. Very hard to be perfect all the time. Sometimes you need that RNG backup. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I don't know. You can play Mario 1. Can't get lucky in Mario 3 if you're not playing it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You could have you you stopped that can't get lucky in Mario 3. <laughs> that would have been accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Stewie behind by a little bit, and he doesn't have that extra cloud. I don't think... I'm not sure about this routing. It's more time. He's got the extra music box, right? Why wouldn't he mm -hmm. just put them to sleep? He does have the hammer, though. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Well, 4 4 one and... Called. Um, Stewie doesn't use the P-Wing in 5-1, so he oh, doesn't I have the extra music box, so that probably has something to do with it. He's probably less keen on using his because of that, um, to, you know, ensure he gets the, uh, you know, no star through three, uh, from three through six points. No, but he does have it because he didn't use it in World 3 and got it in World 2, right? Yeah, So he yeah, has a music but, box to yeah, use in World 4 and 5 and then get the music box in 5 for the Piranha Planet. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know why he's he's saving it. I think for World Four, um, you know, because you might have a situation in World Four where you have to double music box to avoid the star. That too. Yeah. I mean, if you really wanted to go for that point, that's true. Uh, that's true. Yep. Yeah, because it's, it's. I mean, five seven or sorry, three seven is very slow. It's got a mini auto scroller in it versus a yeah. very fast fortress in World Four. Um, so, uh, yeah, but well, everyone comes well, to the well, table with their own sure. strategies, right? Their own strategies, their own routes. I mm -hmm. mean, you, you can't you can't sit mm -hmm. back and question what everyone's doing because you know they're gonna do what's comfortable for them and they're gonna do what they feel is right and. You gotta respect it. <clears throat> All right, Bagler. Here we go. And like I said before, Bagler's already got the eight right now, right? It does get this point. Uh, 
Uh, Bagler did not mark himself down for the spade game. Uh, am I wrong or does he not? Did he not get it? Oh, Stu having a little trouble on Wendy here. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Stu's got it. Giving her the old side bop. Yeah, I'm not sure why Bagler doesn't have himself marked down for the 10 score. Maybe he didn't get it. We'll find out later. Oh, thought he did. Thought they both did. Right? All right. They had it open at the same time. What do you what do you what do you think? If you accidentally use a warp whistle, that's instant disqualification. I mean, it is a warpless <laughs> category. <laughs> Uh, we had somebody in season two use the warp whistle, if you remember, by accident. Yeah, we did. We did. All right, Stu needs to get the. Yep. All right, it's gonna get the P speed. Very nice. nice. Through there. Stu gets it. Let's go. I think it was Mars. Yeah, I think, I it was think Mars. so too. No, you say it. Yeah. Can you believe we have not got one marathon in this tournament yet in World Four? In World Four, not one. Wow, very nice from Bagler's side. Ooh, Stewie fallen. Oh no. Okay, he's good. Okay. But he's got to worry about these uh, these fish. Bagler did match the ten point. Okay, he marked. He marked it down. Okay, we're good. We are good. All right. Good thing Stewie has not only extra fire flowers, but he does have the hammer now, so he's gonna be able to skip the fortress here. Yes. Ah, uh, no. He's not he... as behind as it seems. Yeah. Four three, man. It looks sexy, but it it has its stressfulness to it. It's it's not an easy walk nice. in the park, but it kind of is, you know. I thought that was a marathon. <laughs> I would find a way to get a marathon that isn't an actual marathon. <laughs> a movement of four and a half or something. Bagler getting all the duck jumps. That wasn't a marathon. <laughs> remember that oh taking some damage there um, oh yeah the hammer brother did a movement of four and on his last tile he moved on to the la the other hammer brother and then the other hammer brother did the movement of oh. two stewie doing the meme very nice well meme sir well meme sir gets the 283 pipe that is a very scary point Bagler getting the duck jumps. Stewie. No, moving a four. Moving a four this game. Moving a four. Yeah, I think I ended up with a movement of six, but that's because they were right by that mushroom house. One did a movement of four and then went to the square of the other one, and then the other one did a. Or maybe it was moving an eight, and then the other one did the movement of four. I don't know. Something like that. Something weird. Oh! Oh, Stewie's last jump was See, not a duck jump. I've noticed that at the end, it, it, like the rhythm of it, I think, is throwing everybody off where they forget that they can just run on the ground. They can land and just run on the ground. And then duck jump, yeah. To, cause, yeah, because you, you duck jump so for so long in that level, it's like everyone's brain kind of like shuts off. It's like, oh, I have to keep ducking. Yeah, the floor's so, lava kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Damn! So they, they both had some issues there with uh, Bagler taking damage and then Stewie unfortunately popping back up. And that is a kick! Very nicely done. Very nicely done from both runners. I, I mean, regardless of the outcome, I mean, everyone puts on a, a really good show and they, they play great, man. They play great. I, I would be lying if I said that I wouldn't be nervous doing a points race. But, you know, I was yeah, one thinking... Thing I was surprised um, from Bagler was that he actually went for door four because, I mean, he knows Stewie ha has to go for it. 
Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. I might have skipped it, because uh, really, if Stewie gets every point, he's still going to need to win the race, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And so, from my perspective, anything that can ensure that I just beat Stewie in time is kind of like where I would be at having a lead like this, personally. Is that, does that include using a warp whistle? Uh, that does not include that, because <laughs> that would prevent me from beating Stewie in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my screen went dark. My capture card's not working. Yeah. You just hear music change. But yeah, it's just it's something to, to think about for, for certain people maybe in the tournament for the first time is just, uh, you know, more situational decision making. Yeah, I mean, Bangler's playing amazing, but there's uh, there's always little tiny things where you could, the, the little yeah. micro optimizations that allow you to constantly keep the advantage. And, and that, that's a really good point. I mean, not being in these tournaments, I never really thought about that either. Is that like, Stewie has to go for every point. So why would he go for the the door, right? If he yeah. prevents Stewie from winning in time, then, then, then Stu can't win at all. Exactly. I mean, Stewie could hit it and then, you know, he actually loses time, but the odds are is that they're both going to miss it or that you're not going to get it unless you, you know you're really confident in your door four which again the only person i've seen in the entire tournament that should be confident is beardy locks it seems like so. yeah apparently beardy locks is the best door four right now <laughs> as it stands yeah number one door four is beardy locks teeks hasn't played yet though i know teeks has been uh really working on his doors he opening and closing those doors but yeah, I know, you know, earlier last season, my point totals weren't so high, but, you know, I had big leads in those races. I had no point to, like, go for, like, 50 points. There was really... Cause I'm just trying to win. You know? Bragging rights. All right. Bagler gonna go for it? That's slowdown. I don't know. Lagging on Bagler's side, but 284 in the pipe, and I think that guarantees it, right? Oh, yeah, 282. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's good. Definitely. I really think Bagler is putting on the kind of show right now where people are watching and they're like, oh, crap. We got to watch out for Bagler yeah. right now. Because his yeah, consistency uh... for points is insane right now. He seems very strong, um, for sure. Especially when he gets some of those, man, this run's getting bolstered, you know, more than the last run because of some RNG points, too. So he has an opportunity to put up a really good score here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see a lot of similarities in uh, Stewie's race or runs as well. It looks like there's some points he's trying to avoid for time and trying to clean up. Mm -hmm. You know, with 54s, maybe 53s. I mean, Stu's a very, very good 52, high 52 on average runner. And he's been struggling yeah. to get the, the mid. Does he get a movement of four there? He does. So. He does get a movement of four. And as long as he puts them to sleep and doesn't fight them, he's got a really high odd. Man, they like to move four right there. Yeah, especially in that situation. And I, I like him not music boxing before the level two getting that extra chance at the movement of four mm -hmm, it's a mm -hmm. very small optimization that uh, you don't really think about because normally you box him before the level because you want to save time so i are not taking damage not worrying about coin ship either still getting another movement of four gets, there it is oh he's gonna disrupt the momentum though he, he needs the yeah, p-wing right i want this p-wing yeah, he wants the P-Wing for <gasps> some reason. I'm not... Ooh, so Bangler's not going to get an opportunity to go for this point, so... So Stewie can uh, pick up a point there, and then... Has Bagler been getting movements before? I don't think so. No, we'd, we'd hear it. Yeah. Well, I don't hear it, but <laughs> you'd hear it. Yeah, yeah. That was a movement of three there. Oh man, he is just making it so hard for Stu right now. He's left, yeah, in the last the three worlds, he's left one point for him to, to sweep up with, right? Maybe a couple here and there. The no damage, mm -hmm. uh, yep. door four, the frame jump. Another movement of three. 
And Stu's Hammer Brothers too far for that movement of four. Dang, I, I really hope that P, P Wing is needed. Stu's gonna get it this time. There we go. Very nice on Stu's part. He does get it. Big Koopa jump right there. Look at that. Both yep. flowers, too. <laughs> Very nice. He does have to get the early P speed here to prevent uh, the extra point. Mm -hmm. Bagler, so. Holding the left strat with Fire Flower. I'm not sure what oh. that's about. Does not get it. Mm -hmm. Gonna give Bagler that point. And that's where the short points come from. Stewie gave Bagler that point. Bagler. He earned it, right? But it's still, you know, a 50-50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't get I still them. hold left with fire at the beginning of that level because for some reason that stupid donut block eats my uh, fire yeah, fireball. Yeah, and you end up taking damage anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that happens to seemingly only me, but it, it does. So. Yep. Oh yeah. Something about how I do it. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna see a Jesus clip from Stu here. I don't want a Jesus Probably. clip, but I feel like we're gonna see a Jesus clip here. I, I think so too, yeah. I don't know why I feel that way, I just said it's coming. Don't go for it, Stu. You don't need it. You don't need it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, thank god. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where's G-Bads popping out of nowhere? His Jesus clip radar went off. Yeah. <laughs> So you're getting a ooh, that was way too close. Getting a little confused here. Uh, neither runner has lost their fire flower yet, though, so that's good. Um, oh man, you guys are scaring me with that jump. One of you is gonna get soft locked. I'm gonna laugh. I'm sorry, but I will. I will laugh when you get soft locked. There's two there. things I don't have sympathy for: seven nine and intentional soft locks. It's your fault. Yep. And that, you know, what is it? The SOL. Sorry, bud. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to watch someone go for the 7-9 clips and be in there for two minute, two and a half minutes. Timer starts to run out. I want to see that. You know what? You deserve that. <laughs> this is what happens when you play this level, you know? I, I hope by the end of the tournament, I, I'm not seeing people play that level at all. Hey, I'm not a sadist, okay? I have a 50-minute, 49-second warp list with, like, a minute and three seconds, seven nine. Okay, so I, I don't want to hear anything about seven nines. Suffer, yeah, runner, he suffer. Been, he would have been like a fifty forty flat instead of whatever it was. It fifty so, forty seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, something that. No, fifty yeah. forty nine. I got. Forty nine. Yeah, I remember it was pretty close to like a fifty thirty something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you didn't, if you just didn't play the level. Eh, well, you know, but I, the same thing happened to me in that hundred percent run. No, well, if, I mean, part of the reason you got no hands though too is because you got the hands when you did. So exactly. I mean, if you don't play seven nine, probably would have got a hand. Probably would have got a hand. All right, so uh, Bagler did not lose his fire flower. Stewie has to also not lose his fire flower. So then, well, well, Bagler for sure is not going to get punched with that. Stu is jumping around. Uh, big Koopa jump, not for Bagler, and moving support, not for Bagler. Stewie would have got, I swear he would have got moving support if he didn't get that P-Wing. But he might need that P-Wing. Stewie's Bagler's... gonna do the, oh. the, uh, the fire kill here. Um, does not get it, but uh, for the backup, he does the OB-1 strats, so. But he gets punished. He loses the point for losing his fire flower. He does. He does. That uh, that fire kill is risky in in this tournament format. I don't think I would go for it. Bagler gonna go for the upside down bam bam. <laughs> the upside down. Very nice. I think that was a little better than his first one, right? His first one he had to go over, didn't he? Yeah, because he ran past the star <laughs> and had to go back. Alright, so Stewie's first pattern is going to be... Taking damage here is going to be really bad for Stu. Um, he'll have to ride the whole elevator. Gonna... Stewie got he's low as well. Star. Yeah, wow. he got a billion stars. He could have just... He rushed that one too. Um, yep. 
Bagler. Gave no Fs. Fanfare. Okay, so they both have low pattern. Nope, Stewie uh, doing the granny strats. Very nice. If my grandma played Mario 3, she would do those. <laughs> she would do those. My grandma does those right now. I'll... So this uh, this level giving Bagler some trouble, maybe you know something to work on. Not sure if it's one that typically gives him trouble. I know it's one that gives a lot of people trouble. That's right. So... That's right. It does. All right, so Bagler needs to get high pattern here. He's already going to get lucky with the inventory star, and he does get high pattern. Holy crap, the game loves him right now. He gets high yeah, pattern I mean... and no inventory stars. Uh, he has the opportunity. He's got the leaf, right? So he can get the world one leaf. He's just got to remember to use it. So does Stu. Yep. Uh, Stu also needs high pattern from the Hammer Brother. Gets unlucky with the star, bro. Has many, many music boxes, though. And uh, Stu's going to use the P-Wing here. And uh, hopefully, if he gets the despawn, he's gonna gain a little bit of time back on Bagler. But Bagler is just so guess... unstoppable with points right now. Oof. Yeah, I guess the only RNG points he didn't get. Oh, that's not what he likes. Oh my God, why did the shell kick? That made no sense. He kept. Um, I think his he kept trying to tail swipe, bounce it, and grab uh, it. I so see. he was running it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think the only RNG points Bagler didn't get were the uh, the movement of four ones, right? Yeah, he hasn't got all- yeah, he didn't get all movements before, that's right. So Sue's so, gonna uh, first have to do this, then go back. So extra map movements is gonna make it a little difficult. Bagler going for the wall jump! As long as he doesn't do a turn back here, he's good. Um, for for a lot of people, it, it went unnoticed for a long time, and I've actually noticed it- I haven't really said anything yet, um, and I'm not sure if other people have noticed it, but... When you look at your subpixel values, they oscillate between high and low. Right? So if you do a turn back for the card at the end of 3-8, you're actually going to drastically decrease your chance of getting the right subpixel, right? Because if they oscillate from high and low, you technically kind of have a 50% chance of getting the low value. So you have to watch out for the turn back. Ah, not a lot of people thought about that one. That's right. You can just do it as Big Mario and then it, it mostly doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right, wall rubs. All right, so Stewie also gets no inventory stars and he gets high and low pattern and use the leaf. And just like that, Stewie, nine points has increased his pointage. Very nice. Bagler gonna go for the clip. Oof, close. Uh, and uh, the Bagler did not get first try wall jumps. So that is a point that Stewie can get there. Uh, Stewie has there, used his yep. lifeline. So he actually has 10 points right now. Nice. Sorry about that, Hacks, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, I was yeah, I was gonna say, you know, Sui has an opportunity here to get an extra point, um, and then can get two more in the following level with the clip, but uh I think he jumped jumping a little late maybe on the block. I'm not really sure. He that first one was definitely a little luck. late. That one's a little so, early. There you go, very nice. Can get some some more points in the next level here though. Uh, I would say floor clips being a major frig, but I think it's being absolutely normal. I think it's being exactly yeah. what it always is. <laughs> I've, gotten, I've gotten it once, ever. <laughs> like, in a run. <laughs> it's not really a frig, it's just, yeah, that just is what it is. Yeah, believe it or not, two of the sub-51 warpless runs have the clip in it, and it's an eight-second time save. So those two runs, had they not got the clip, they would not have got the sub-51, and that is crazy to think about but it also shows how hard I, I it is want... to get 51 or 57 yeah to put it in perspective i've gotten tasterly hammer more times than i've gotten that clip in a run now that's disgusting so... i don't like that statistic <laughs> i don't like that comparison i don't like that one <laughs> <laughs> so let's just say it's not very likely With that being said, I have a lot more attempts or chances to get early hammer, of course, but still, the point stands. It's not very common. Oh, we're going for the fire right. kill! Cleaned up the fire kill. Yeah. 
Much better this time around. Oh, that was a big movement. I uh There was a there was a stutter up. there, I think, with that movement. I think he's gotta be subpixel yeah. like eleven, I'd say, or ten. Ten or eleven yeah. for yeah. sure. I'm I wonder how comfortable he is with the manipulation. Not really sure. It seems like he has trouble with the small movements, you know. I that's why I tell people to pick up that subpixel ROM and practice with your flicking just to Mm-hmm. Just to and get down something, because every controller is different uh -huh. with how you have to do it. You really have to practice it. You can't just think, oh, light tapping? I can do that, right? We can all do light tapping, mm -hmm. sure. With the controller itself. I think he jumped a little late there again, so not going to know. And gets its second try, making it even harder for Stu. The Bagler is just insane. I think Bagler has, has really made himself the fan favorite right now. He, he's just nailing points and annihilating everything. Yeah. That's one thing I've noticed about 7-1 if you d if you miss the, you know, the two high values but still have a high value, the second try seems to work a lot. I'm right? not really sure why that is. I don't know. Is Dewey going to yeah. go for the duck clip setup? Very nice. Oh, no pipe to pipe. He wanted it. You, I saw it. He wanted the pipe to pipe. We still need those pipe to pipe emotes. Silly emotes. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. So no bumps so far for Bagler. Stewie's going to need some punishment action coming out in this level. There it is. Uh, and he, and he there is it is. Punished, so. Com it wasn't me this time. It was Haxer. It was Haxer, it was not me. Commentator's curse. Is it commentator's curse or, you know, is it just uh, Get good? helping out Stewie a little bit? <laughs> helping out Stewie a little bit. And Stewie gets first <laughs> try uh... clip. I bet he's beating himself up wishing he got that uh, more in his runs. Stewie has had a yeah. lot of bad luck with 7-1. Uh, that, that clip does not like him. So yeah, using the extra P-Wing here in 7-2, I guess, so. And this is what we were talking about. The P-Wing in this level is not worth the points. The point he could have gotten World 5 for the three movements of four. Yep. Not worth it. Bagler's gonna have the... Oh, no way. No, not this time. Not this time. He did the same things last time, but slightly worse. There's no way. High jump. Low jump. Close. Damage. High <laughs> jump. No way. Wow! And he gets it. Wow. All right. Just uh, let that he be known, man. everyone. He, he did. He did the frame math. <laughs> he did the math on the on the, on the spot. All right, yep. Stewie not going to be punished. Ooh, he did the right jump. Had bad sub pixel. That's why sub pixel manipulation is so important. Right. That's well, why it's so I mean, important. And in, in, in that previous level, it's a dumb sub pixel manipulation. But yeah. Uh, well, you just <laughs> stand there, where, like. It's a middle range, so you don't ever, there's no way to know exactly where you are. You can kind of guess, but a little bit of guesswork involved with 7-6 seven, seven, manipulation. It's true, it's true, seven, right? Because um, it's anywhere between subpixel 3 and 11, right? Well, I think you want 10, yep. 3 and 10. Um, I wonder why is Stewie doing the double jump there? He's... I'm so confused. He got it though, didn't he? No, he didn't. No, I don't. Dang. Wait. Yeah, no. I don't. Because he can't get the P speed to get the 83. Yeah, he ran oh. on the ground there, didn't he? That's right. Come on, first try. Yeah. Gets it first try. Nice, Stu. That's what I'm talking about. Good, I hope this level- no! First try. No, don't get the clips. Fail them all. No, stop! <laughs> right through greased up like butter. Yeah, that's what you get! The no input, get it eaten. <laughs> get eaten. Still gonna save time, actually. He is, though. he is, it's a very good level. So. Yeah, nothing We're against Bagler, I got everything late. against 7-9. Nice, very nice on Stu. He's gonna do his own uh, style method for the hammer suit. It's very nice. All right, Stu, play the fortress for you, boy. Come on. Yeah, do it for us, Stu. No bump on Bagler's side. 17 points right now. All 
Oh. Oh. Sad. Bagler didn't mark himself. Oh, there we go. Okay. I actually didn't remove the point from the punishment. Oh, he's doing 7 9. Dang, he's got to do. Get the clip. Oh, we've already seen the clip two times in the tournament. That side clip is silly to, silly to watch. Mm hmm. It's a big, uh, it's oh, a pretty big nice time try. save. Well, uh. Unfortunate for Stu. I think it's impossible for him to bring this back. I mean, Bagel has to die on this auto scroller like six times. Mm hmm. Um, he has to die a lot, not finish the race, lose. Yeah. A lot of fitness. Yeah. And I don't think Bagler's going to use his lifeline, which is going to be great for him in the future races. Yeah, I, I obviously, with the lead he had, wouldn't, and especially with how this has gone, he should feel pretty good. Think about his situation, so, yeah. There it is. I don't think Stewie did any bumps on the overworld map. I, yeah, there you go. I don't think so. So a much better world too. Stu actually has 12 points right now. He used his lifeline um, against Bagler's 16. So Stewie's not that, not as far behind in race two as he was in race one. And just those slip ups, right? Those little tiny slip ups are definitely what cost it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really gotta ask yourself the, the is it worth it questions, right? Yeah, I'm not sure, um, you know, how much he's practiced, or he's probably got reasons he did certain things, but I'm not sure. Angular taking the damage there, not getting stunned, though. I mean, with Stewie's wishes coming true there, I was just thinking for a sec, like, that's what he needed. Yeah. A lot of bottom sections on the airship here. I stay far away from that little area. I do not like that area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same. That, uh, that little corkscrew sometimes will fall off on you and then you're stuck under there. Yeah, or you can get your head stuck in the stupid screw there. Had that happen before, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. No lifelines yet. Okay. All right. You can get some Rangless action. A previous point. That's right. In this inventory, he did have the Fire Flower. Um, I don't think we are in hands reigns as much as we were last time. I think Stewie's a little bit... Is he further behind this race or no? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. He is okay. Last last race, if uh, Bagler got two extra hands over Stewie, Stewie um, would have been ahead. So that's right. I yeah. Oh, time... because Bagler died, didn't he? He died. Um, he died uh, once or twice. Yeah, I think uh, this time around, you know, if he got three and Stewie got none, maybe, maybe catch up. Yeah. The hands, man. The hands say it all. Auto scroller coming up here. And Stu's this gonna is how come. I lost to you by 40 seconds on SGDQ 2019. You know, you got what? one, and I got three. When I got one hand, you got three. Yeah. Well, it's because I'm um, better. <laughs> <laughs> I I know how to get one hand. It was, you see. It was it was so sad because the race was so good, right? You got wall jump first try. Then I got wall jump first try. Then you got clip like first or second try. Then I got it like third or fourth try. And so we we're like six to eight seconds apart, and then the hands are like, nah, this race is over, son. <laughs> yeah, man, it happens. Come on, I've had my fair share of bad things. Apparently, my console oh, yeah. randomly froze because some dude beside me, I don't know who it was, some guy couldn't couldn't keep it some together, and then next thing you know, I'm at the beginning of the game again. So that that's fun. Some jackass, yeah. Yeah. I wonder who that guy is. Some dude. I, I, mean, I guess GDQ's accepting runs from anyone now. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. 
Any guy off the street. <laughs> hey, you want to race Mitch? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> All right, so Bagler is on the Navy now, and a lot of people, we, I actually get asked a couple times a year, like, why, why runners don't go into the water and just swim under? Um, and it's because when you do that, you actually end up getting into the pipe probably a solid five or four seconds later. The pipe, you want to enter the pipe as soon as yeah. it spawns on screen, and you can't get out of the water until way later after the pipe uh, spawns. And that's and that's even if you're good enough to jump out of the water when the boat is uh, is down, because you can't actually jump out when the boat is up. You can't get the you can't get the jump. I don't know why they designed it that yeah, way. It's just awkward. I think Pooh does the swim under till the last boat section, right? And then he will go up top so he doesn't lose the time, but... I'm the always first afraid, boat? like, because... Yeah, because you don't see when you're... Because this, this, I don't know, this blood of Bowser's enemies, chocolate, water, whatever the heck chocolate it is. Chocolate water. water. I don't know. I don't know what the heck that crap is. But anyway, you can't see Mario in there, so you might be stuck on the front of the boat and not realize it. That's I've right. That happened yeah. when I was a kid. Yep. <laughs> so, um, it, is it bad that when I see people do the swim under, I'm always cheering for them to get stuck on the boat and die? But I mean, no, it's just your version of my seven nine. I want every runner yeah. to go to seven nine and lose two minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, that, that level fulfills your wishes more often than uh, you would think. Yeah, don't worry, I, I'm, I'm conflicted though. I want every runner to win, but I want everyone to to lose in that level. So it's a, it's a back and forth. <laughs> MFP toxic for sure for 7-9. It's not me. I'm influenced by the 7-9. All right, Bagman got two hands here. Um, and Stewie is not out of the Navy yet. So yeah, definitely a, a different uh, time time difference for race. Race two. Nice. I always looks scary jumping into that pipe from the Navy, but it's really not that bad. You just wall rub and the yeah. bombs never really hit you. And like, if, it's weird. If the bombs do hit you, you were never going to make it in the pipe anyways. So it's mm -hmm. like a good indication of like jumping way too early. All right, Stu, no hands. Oh, and one. Come on, Stu. We want to see no hands. And because he's got hammer suit, it's going to... Oh! Oh. I mean, because he's Big Mario, he's going to be able to... Oh, dang. The lost hammer suit. All right, that was my bad. That was my bad with the commentator's curse. Why did it have to happen as soon as I started to say it? <laughs> oh, two hands. One and three. Very nice. Both two hands. So they both got equal hands in each race, right? They both got two. Yeah. Oh, Bagler going for the double inventory. Tea bag in this uh, bag inventory, right? <laughs> this inventory yeah. stack. Oh, Bagler could have finished this with the solid, the solid twenty point, but he had the punishment in seven three. Yep. So he's gonna go for the combo point here to get the seventeen. Oh no, no, he might, he needed to clean up one more point. What a lot of points. He did. Right, some people die here. It, this fairly close to sub 54. Uh, not gonna make it, but uh, pretty close. I feel like if he got no hands, he would have, right? Combo uh, yeah, point for Bagger. So too. Yeah, and you know, if some of the stuff that happened earlier were clean, was cleaner too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, not taking the damage, etc. Yeah, well, I mean, he lost a solid, what, five seconds on the boss in World 7. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Gets the conveyor piece speed. Look at that. Holy crap. 18. Oh! Oh! Goes back to the door, which isn't oh. a big deal. Although that is a big deal, so that's nice. Uh, he's obviously made that mistake before, because actually, if you run back and stomp on it, you won't make it in time. That's right. He made that mistake once, so very nice, very heads up play there. Small little thing that uh, you don't know until you've done it. Do we go for the starless eight one? Um, which is fine. I mean, he does have a lot of stars, but he's obviously very good with eight one, and he is going to yeah. get this point. He's gonna go for the combo point here. Bagler back on the auto scroller, so we're gonna avert our attention over to Stu now. 
So he's got two points he can grab here. Uh, he died last race in this level, so let's hope he doesn't have the same situation happen. He can take the top route no. with the music notes, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah. He gets lucky this time. Doesn't want to take damage. He takes it anyways, no. though. He's going to go for the big jump. Hits the music note. 292, and he does get the combo points. GG for Sue for that one. That Sorry, is very I, nice. I have a beast. All right, Stu, it needs to get the conveyor P speed here. Eventually, once we get to the higher seasons and we start seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of the same runners, we're going to start seeding them based on their career total for points. Season one, season two, season three, season four. Stewie going to get conveyor P speed. Yes. Stu, why are you ranking in all the points at the end, man? Where was the yep. first 40 minutes in both your races, dude? You do so well, but you get inside your head, man. But... You know, I wouldn't let it. I wouldn't let it bug you too much. You did a great job. Well, I think it was just really the first race. I mean, this race has mostly been fine, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, I agree. You know. Look at him. He's cleared in so many points. And I don't think Bagler's yeah. died either, so it's been a little hard uh, for Stu to keep up. Nice for Bagler. Not having the hammer suits. So he's going to have to do some, uh, some very nice fire flower shooting. Uh, it's it's funny. The shooting Bowser part is the hardest part of Bowser's Castle for some reason. It's just, <laughs> And it's not even hard. It's just weirdly scary. I don't know why. It's because uh, sometimes there's nothing you can do. He's just not, like that. He's a wolf. Yeah. That's exactly what you were talking away. about. Yep. He got the bad shot. He was also too far away from the platform, so, or mm -hmm. the end of the platform, so yeah. Um, that's why I, I hate doing World A with fire, <laughs> to be honest. You don't have that problem uh, with Hammer Suit. You just, no, you don't. You it's really not going to make an 8 bit peen, though. Oh, no 8 bit peen for Bagler. It's unfortunate. All right, and just with that, Bagler is going to advance into the second round with the points tournament. GG for Bagler. This is his first tournament. Does a fantastic job with a solid 18 points. 18 points, race two. Big, big points. Stewie and Bowser's Castle as well. Stewie needs to clutch this out and not die. So Stewie can have a higher point average. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, that's good. He's made that mistake a couple times. Gonna go the bottom route, I guess, and uh, show us the uh, second Bowser fight that you yeah. normally don't get to see. Oh, he's just gonna go up the clip there. <laughs> it's a good thing the other lasers don't shoot. And randomizer, they right. do, though. You don't know which lasers are gonna shoot. Yeah. Oh, and let's this not. This room is lawful. Yeah, let's not forget about the invisible fireballs in Rando. Just get rid of them. <laughs> just get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can't believe he missed that fireball. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice for Stu. Stu gonna come and clutch second place with 14 points. He used his lifeline. I don't think Bagler used his lifeline. He did not. So Stu's got 14 plus 6. Bagler's got 18 plus 15. Wow. So what are our totals, guys? It's a... Uh... A new, a new record for season three, for now. Twenty-three to twenty. I don't think it was that close. Thirty-three to twenty. Thirty-three to twenty. That's right. Yes, thirty-three yep. to twenty. Very nice. Thirty-three to twenty for Bagler. Insane. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you get rid of the damage he took on Bowser, which, uh, lost a little extra time, so that's a, I think it's a 25 second time save, but since he'd already tried to kill him, it's probably closer to 30, 35. You add, not going for door 4, 
What does that mean? He gets pretty close to the sub 54, so just has to clean up a few things in there. I'm just saying, guys, it's gonna happen. And uh, Teeks is gonna do it twice. I, uh, I'm predicting he's gonna do it twice in the first round. Wait, what's Teeks gonna do twice? Sub 54, it's gonna happen twice oh. in the first round. Wow, you think Teeks is gonna bust out the sub 54 points? Nobody knows what Teeks is doing. He has not shown anyone what he plans to do with his points. Uh, we don't know his strats at all. And that's kind of what I want to see from the runners. Very nice, guys. Give GG's to the runners, man. Very nice job. And thank you, Haxer, very much for the commentary. I think we have one race tomorrow and then we have one race on Tuesday as well. Guys, so make sure you type in exclamation tournament to get all the information that you need. You got the brackets. You got the challenge, you got the schedule, and you even have the tracker there if you want to download it and uh, play uh, for yourself. Oh, maybe I don't have a race tomorrow. No more races until Tuesday. Oh, no. We got to watch Mitch go for world record attempts. Oh, oh man. No. I got to watch Mitch get hands so I lose hundreds of thousands hundreds of Hundreds and thousands of Mitch know. points. Well, I think you guys can confidently say you will be seeing me tomorrow doing my normal streams. Thank goodness I've got a little bit of time in between uh, all of these yesterday and today. Lots of races, guys. So um, we're going to go raid our winner, the Baglers. Let's go get Bagler raid. Give him some MFP love. Give him some of that MFP love. And I will be back on again tomorrow, guys, with some world record attempts for any percent no wrong warp. And I got to start cleaning up my 100% run. Because guess what? I don't get to rest. See, there goes blindfolded runs, right? See you later. <laughs> I was doing so well, too. Oh, I think Bagler also got a PB as well uh, for points runs. So uh, that's good. Both runners did a great job. Go get Bagler some yeah, love absolutely. for winning the race. And I will catch you all later. Thank you all for watching. Look at that hair. Holy jumping.